Hello and welcome to this exciting new series on Python automation projects. The goal of this series is to help you guys learn Python and improve your Python skills through fun and interactive uh, projects. Um, you can add these projects to your to your project's portfolio or you can also add them to your CV. Um, you can either follow along with me uh, in the videos or you can also just check the source code. I'll be putting links to, uh, to, to GitHub in the description uh, for every video. Now, in today's video, I'll be coding a file management script in Python. The idea is that the script will save you time by moving um, downloaded files to, to specific folders. So say that you download an image, the script will take care of moving it to a downloaded images folder. Say that you download a video, the script will take care of moving it to, to a downloaded videos folder and so on. Uh, it's a simple yet very powerful uh, project and it's mostly aimed at beginners, uh, but also help you, it also, it also help like, uh, help give you some inspiration, also give me some inspiration uh, for future videos. And uh, yeah, and it's just, uh, it's just it's like a fun little, uh, fun little project uh, to code. So. Uh, Let's get coding. So to start off with, we'll just do a Google search for monitoring file system changes in Python. And there should be, yeah, so there's like this Stack Overflow post here with someone recommending using this library called Watchdog. Um, so we'll just go ahead and install this. I actually think I already have it installed, uh, but you can just install it. Yeah, so it's already installed. You can just install it if you don't have it installed. Um, so once that's been installed, I will just go to the quick start uh, and copy this example like that. Uh, and this should then monitor, uh, yeah, so the following example program will monitor the current directory, cursively for file system changes, and simply log them to the console. So if we, um, so it monitors changes on, uh, on path, which is the, the argument you give when you when you call the file, um, so in this case, so if you call if you call main, uh, so, so the argument you give here, it'll just monitor that. Paste it there. This should now be running. And so, if I go to the downloads like that, and if I delete something like this, it should show modified file, the directory, modified directory, and just log all of this information. So now that we have this boilerplate code, we want to make some changes to it. We want to detect if something is, is downloaded or, or added to the downloads folder. And when that happens, we want something else to happen. So for that, we'll just go back to the documentation and there should be, so if we look at, so these are like the minimum requirements. Um, so if we look at the, the file system event handler, this should have like some methods here um, that listen on, on, on events. So, so we have, for example, on any event would catch all events. Um, and then we have on created, which is called when a file or directory is created. So we'll just be, we'll be using this. Um, and also we need to implement the file system event handler or or, or, or implement a subclass of this um so the way we'll do this is that we'll just do some refactoring here actually and, and before we do that we'll just create some like i'll just write the the paths uh here as a as a as a string to make it easier to use them later in the code uh so i'll just go like that and then we have a videos folder that. Uh, and so what we'll do is we will also we'll just remove this import and we will import the file system event handler event handler like that and we will implement so we'll inherit from the file system event handler class and to do that i'll just create a new class and call it uh, downloads handler. And then I will give this like that. And what we want to do now is we want to override the methods in the file system event handler class. Uh, for that, we'll just, we'll just write, we'll just say, um, just give the name of the, of the method uh, and then event. Uh, like that 
and this should then override um, or, or this should then fire every time uh, something is uh, every time a file is created um, in the designated uh, directory so I'll just remove go ahead and remove all of this and here I will call the downloads handler like that and the path I will give it the, the downloads folder next we want to get the the file path from the event and once we have that we want to we want to guess the the type of the file and for that there's a python package called mime types uh, so i'll just import that and then we can use the mime types dot guess type function and then we just give it uh, the file path and this returns two things uh, the content type and the encoding we don't really need the encoding so a trick in python is what you can do is you can just use an underscore and this just ignores the uh, like the second uh, thing that that the function returns and it, it, just, it just makes the code a lot cleaner to look at um, next we just need to make sure that this is not none and if it's not none, then we just check the uh, like the mime type, and you can like Google this, but there's like a like a standardized way that this is done. Uh, but we can just say that if it starts with video, uh, with uh, with video slash, uh, then we set the the destination folder to uh, to the videos folder and then we can just do an an else if and just do the same thing here if it starts with image uh, then the destination folder we set that to the images folder and else we just return and let me just look here uh yes and then here we just say move file um and we give it the, the source along with the destination folder the next step is to actually define the move file function uh so we give it the source path the destination path and here we need to use something so we need to use the os library uh, it's like a built-in library and we use that to to get the to get the file name uh, so if we say base name on the source path this should then give us the the final component of the path so it would give us the the, the file name um, and here and, and the, and the destination path will just say path.join uh, and this is so yeah so, so 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 what we want here is we want the full path of the destination so we want the destination uh, path um, and then we want the we want that and then we also so we want to concatenate the file name to the destination path uh, like that so once we've done that, we simply just remove the file. And there are a lot of ways to do this in Python. Um, I'll just use a built-in, I think it's called shutil um, uh, library. And then we just call move. And this has like a lot of documentation. So it basically just, it removes, recursively moves the file or directory to another location. Um, yeah, so it's, 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 it's pretty simple. So here I'll just give it the, the source path and the destination path. Um, and then I'll just print um, successfully uh, successfully moved file uh, like that and then here we'll just say file name to folder uh, to folder and here I will just give the destination path so this is like a nice this is called f strings uh in python and it's a way to to um to 
to get like uh, to 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 access variables or like to to concatenate strings uh, with with variables. So so in this case, it'll just it'll print successfully moved file and it will just get the get the get the file name, convert that to a string, and just print it out here in the same here. Uh, so it's like a dynamic way of printing things um, like that. And this should be done, I think. Okay, now to test this, I'll just open up Safari and we'll just download something. Uh, actually, wait, maybe it's a better idea to run the code first. And before I even run the code, uh, we need to remember to also create the directories. So these two directories, the downloaded videos and downloaded images directories. So I'll just go ahead and do that first. And we can use the make make directory command here. And then uh, we'll just call uh, this downloaded videos and downloaded images. Now let's run this and hope that it runs. Uh, okay, it started. It would be nice to maybe also make like a print statement here to notify the user that the uh, that started listening. In any case, so now that it's running, we can just download uh, Python logo download. So I'll just go here, the Python logo, and let's just uh, save image to downloads. So that has been downloaded. And as you can see, the script has successfully moved the Python logo file uh, image uh, to this folder. And if I click that, uh, it should should be able to, to, uh, to find it. Here it is. So that works. I can also do the same thing for the videos. I'll just do like a quick test. So I'll just take one of these um, just copy that to the downloads folder, uh, paste item. And as you can see, it's also been, it's also been moved, uh, to the downloaded videos folder. So that's it for this video. Let me know if you find it, if you found it useful. And also if you have other ideas for Python automation projects, uh, you can write them down in the comments or send me an email with your ideas and I will implement them and go through them in the coming up videos. Thank you so much.